Well, hello. Summer is the time when you want the fresh flavors from the garden, the things I'm growing, the things you find in the farmer's market, and you wanna use them in a way that really brings out their best flavors the really moments that you wanna soak in that summer flavor. And that's what this zucchini salad is all about. It takes the best things that you have, which if you grow zucchini, you know you're gonna to have too much zucchini. So you may as well use it in a lot of fun ways. So we're gonna grill zucchini and make a delicious salad out of it. Add so much flavor from the grill. Then we have tomatoes with it and chickpeas, which have tons of protein, and some roasted peppers for even more flavor. So we're layering flavor, we're layering goodness. And we might as well get started with the grill because everything good happens with the grill. So to start, I always try to pick, you know, if I don't miss them, my zucchini when they're at a slightly younger size, just because you know what? You miss them one day and guess what? They get absolutely massive. But when they're smaller and younger, you can use them and you don't have too many seeds in the middle. They're just easier, more tender to use, you know, until you get those huge boats then it's like, okay, you have a problem. So I try to pick them regularly. Every you know day, you need to check them because you never know. So I'm just cutting them lengthwise, as you can see. And then I'm gonna take a red onion and do the same thing. So grilling is one of those things, usually we relegate it and we just grill, you know, meat, maybe some other things. But the wonderful thing about when you grill your vegetables, you're adding that same flavor, that char broiled, char grilled, wonderful flavor, a little bit of smokiness. It really lends and has something special happen to it. So I'm even actually keeping somewhat of the end of that onion on, but I'm taking that onion and I'm setting it on here because we're gonna kind of grill the onion too. Because why not? One thing, onions actually have a lot of natural sugar in them. So it kind of caramelizes that sugar and brings out their sweetness. So we're using a red onion just because it's not quite as harsh. Taking some oil. And I'm just using any type of oil that doesn't have a strong flavor. So not an olive oil, because when you're grilling it at a high heat, that kind of negates the fact of an olive oil. So I'm taking this oil and I'm making sure, you know, since you don't want it to stick on the grill, I'm just making sure to rub them kind of on all sides. Make sure that oil really coats the zucchini, coats the vegetable. For one, it's gonna help it not stick. No one wants to like peel that off of a grill. But two, it's gonna really make sure that you get that flavor and that char on there. So I'm just gonna take some salt. We're gonna sprinkle it with salt. You know, the thing is, when you make sure to grill something, when you roast something, especially a vegetable, adding the salt, adding some pepper, it really is gonna enhance the flavor, especially that salt, because it actually works and starts to break down those proteins, bring out some of their natural juices, it makes a difference. So I'm actually gonna do both sides if I can. Obviously the skin side is gonna be a little harder. Now, I know some people have a weird thing about skin. No. Skin has a lot of nutrients in it, has a lot of natural fiber in it, but it also just helps it hold together and it's gonna have great flavor. So the girl's gonna tenderize this when we grill it. We're gonna also add the flavor. So leave the skin on, let's go to the grill, let's get this started and let's add a ton of flavor. So I've let the grill heat up and it's on pretty high heat because I want to get a good sear on each side. We're not cooking them through. We're not making them extremely soft. We just want them to get a nice char on them. Oh, there's that good grill sound. So the one thing, the onion will take a little bit longer, obviously, than the zucchini just because it's thicker cell wall. But again, we're not necessarily trying to cook it. We're just trying to get these to have good marks on them, to have some good color, get a little bit of flavor then we're good to go. And what's nice is we don't have to wash the pan because there's no contaminants in the food. So we're gonna let them sear. We'll turn them at the end to get a little bit on the other side and we'll be able to make a salad. It's so summer. So we've turned them over once and you can see that we got some nice color on top and then we just got a little bit on the skins too because the thing is you don't want it to get soft as in mushy because then no one wants to eat that. That wouldn't make a good salad. So instead we're gonna pull them off when they still have really good texture, still some good firmness. We're gonna take them in. We're gonna let them cool slightly, but while they're cooling, we're gonna make a delicious dressing and that's all it is. Look, it's fun to use the grill for everything. So we're back in the kitchen. I'm still letting the zucchini and the onion just cool off enough that I wanna handle it. And so while it's doing that, we can make the dressing, which is again, just taking the best of what we have right now. So some fresh basil, you know, you can't go wrong with fresh basil. Obviously we usually have it with tomatoes or something like that. What I'm gonna do is really make just a quick kind of 
basil vinaigrette, basil dressing. And this is one of those things where once you start making your own dressings, like do not come at me for that because why would you go back? It's so delicious. It has so much more flavor. It is fresh, it is pungent, and it has just the best compliment to what we're having. So I have the basil in there. Add that leaf yet too. And I'm gonna take a couple of cloves of garlic. You know, it kind of depends on your size of garlic. Do you have big cloves, smaller cloves? And I just smash them a little bit with the side of a knife. And then they just kind of come right out of that peel. And that's what I like. So it's just easier. Now I'm gonna, if you follow me, you know what I'm a fan of. Blending my dressings. Cause I find it so much easier. Especially when we use something like a fresh herb that we really want to work into it. Blending it allows you to not have to chop that herb. It allows it much easier. Some sherry vinegar. So anytime you're gonna do a dressing, usually you have fat and acid. So olive oil and some sherry vinegar is what I'm using here. And I like sherry vinegar because it has like almost like this inherent kind of sweetness to it, but without being too strong. Just one of my favorites. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Again, mustard usually, the point of it is it emulsifies the dressing, helps the oil suspend with the liquid. But also I think it kind of balances out flavors, adds a tanginess. Some salt, always some salt, and some pepper. You need both of those things. So I always use an immersion blender. You can use a countertop blender, whatever really works for you. And I'm just gonna blend it up. So you can see it's like this nice kind of emulsified vinaigrette. So it has tons of flavor. Has that beautiful green from the basil, which is exactly what we want here. So to assemble the salad, it's honestly pretty easy, but we have all of our components. So I'm gonna start by taking my zucchini and I'm just gonna cut it up. Now you can cut it up in bite-sized pieces, big chunks, whatever you like. I kind of like to do these bite-sized kind of pieces. We have it already in halves, but depending on the size of your zucchini to begin with, that can make a difference. So I'm gonna keep chopping all the zucchini. Then we're gonna move on to the onion. We're gonna put in everything else. Maybe taste it. Delicious grilled flavor. And we're gonna make a great salad. I have my zucchini. I also cut in half some cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes. You know, the reason I always use small cherry tomatoes is they usually have, even if they're out of season, a good sweetness to them and they're pretty good. So I'm gonna add in my grilled onion. It just has, I mean, uh, it has that beautiful sweetness the red onion does and great flavor. So then here I've chopped up some roasted red peppers. Now you can roast your own. I like to sometimes just have the jar of them on hand because it's easy. And what's great about them is they're just like this major flavor enhancer. They have so much flavor on their own that like it does the work for you. But you could throw a red pepper on the grill too and have it ready to go. I'm gonna add in my can of rinsed and drained chickpeas. You know, they just, again, they have that great protein in them. They add a little bit more oomph to it. We have our dressing. I'm just gonna slowly put some on. You know, dressing's one of those things, it's to taste. So you have to do some, decide what you like, decide what works for you, you know? Sometimes more, sometimes less. Thankfully, this dressing is just good anytime. So we're gonna give it a toss. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Now, I forgot the feta cheese. We need to get feta cheese, so I'm gonna get feta cheese. We're gonna crumble it in, then we're gonna taste it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on the feta. Look at that, that just finishes it off. I love a good briny feta at the end of anything. It just adds a pop. It kind of sits on your tongue and just makes a good surprise. I could get a bowl, but you guys, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna eat this whole thing anyway. So this is what I love about this, picnics. What I love is, it's like you're tasting the garden. You are tasting summer. It is packed with so much flavor. You get the basil dressing, of course, but then you get that char grilled flavor from the zucchini and the onion. That vinaigrette just really complements everything. And it has like this like sweet, salty, tangy, great quality to it. And then that briny, wonderful feta at the end. This is a good salad. This is an exciting salad. It is fresh, it is delicious, it has texture, it has crunch. It's everything I want and I hope you do too. As always, I hope you share these videos around. Of course it helps me, but it also helps some people see how fun and easy it is to maybe use produce you grow, use produce you find at the farmer's market or whatever is in season so you have some fresh, delicious, healthy food at home that's fun to make and just great to eat. That's the point, right? So as always, check my website, wiseguide.com for this recipe, so many other recipes. Be kind, 
be happy, share good food. It makes the world go around. <laughs>